Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So about two years ago, I shared with you guys my seven favorite lipsticks. Obviously a lot has changed since then. I can't believe there's some in my current favorite now that weren't there then. It's like, where was I in life? But anyway, so I just wanted to share with you lipsticks that I am loving and I constantly reach for these days and I hope you'll enjoy this video. Random fact about me, one of the things that I used to be very self-conscious about when I was growing up were my lips. Now I used to think I would never in a million years ever put lipstick on um, and now it's, it's so weird like one of the videos that I love watching the most I have to do with lipsticks like lipstick swatches really make me happy. I just love to see like different colors on the lips whereas before I used to be so self-conscious about it I wouldn't even want to watch lipstick videos I'd just be like ugh that's awkward you're focusing on your lips how can you do that um, but yeah now I'm here showing you guys my favorite lipsticks so the first lipstick that I keep reaching for in my collection is this Revlon super lustrous lipstick in cocoa bronze number 21 and I really like it because it's moisturizing and it doesn't even feel like you've put in much effort and you don't have to worry about oh how how bold is my eyeshadow or how crazy is my outfit this goes with pretty much everything at least on me it does and it's also got a really great like shimmer effect that almost makes it look metallic which is different from a lot of my other lipsticks and that's why I'll constantly reach out for this one. You don't have to use a liner with it because it's just, it's easy, simple and that's it. That's all you need and if, it's actually moisturizing so sometimes if I don't even have my lip balm close to me I'll just reach for this one and I'm good to go. So the second lipstick that I've been reaching for quite a bit recently is this Jordana lipstick with um, the Ellie Girl Chocolate Lip Liner first and I fill my lips in with this lip liner which is beautiful and dark and chocolatey and it just it blends in beautifully with my skin and then I top it off with this Jordana Matte Lipstick which despite it being matte um, is actually not drying on the lips it feels very velvety and soft um, and it, it doesn't feel like you're going to end up with really chapped dry lips at the end of the day and the best part about this lip combo is that it is really affordable I got this lip liner for from Makeup Addiction KE and I believe she sells them from for about 300 or 400 shillings and this Jordana lipstick is probably two to three hundred shillings as well and I got this one from Chandarana but I know that they are available in a lot of uh, chemists as well so this is perfect neutral matte and works beautifully with so many different combos when it comes to makeup and outfits as well so the next lip combo that I really like is this soft pink look it just gives them more girly, flirty vibe to your look. And I really like that um, that there's gloss in this one. Because I feel like the world, the beauty world, has sort of moved into this really matte phase. I realized the other day that I had missed juicy, glossy looks. Um, actually, a friend of mine had this lip gloss on and I was like, what is that? And she was like, lip gloss? Wow! Because <laughs> I was just so used to matte lipsticks. So this... Saved it. So the lipstick I have on is Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Moisturizing Lipstick in Breathless. That's number 31. And then I topped it off with this Maybelline Color Sensational Shine Gloss in uh, Fuchsia Flash 130. And I think the combo just has a really different vibe and makes it, and it, it's still wearable with a lot of looks, including makeup looks, but it's just a little bit more flirty than the other two that I showed you. And now we're on to the fourth lipstick, which I think speaks for itself when it comes to pow, pow wow, power. You know what I'm saying? It has such a beautiful punch. It's a uh, sleek matte me Fandango Purple, which I mean, I don't know about you, but this doesn't come off purple on my lips. It seems more like pink. Um, but I guess I actually realized that on someone else, someone who is a lot lighter than I am, it came out looking more purple than it. it did pink but anyway this is a stunning color it's definitely a lot more mattifying than the last lipstick I showed you it will leave your lips feeling a little dry so what I like to do is make sure that you've exfoliated your lips then put a little bit of Vaseline on or any kind of lip moisturizer that you like to use just a bit of it and then you apply this on top so it doesn't leave your lips feeling super dry this one has been a favorite for a long time. I probably bored you guys with it on the vlog, if you follow me on my vlog, that is. Um, I've worn it so many times, and it is 
Nuba Milabachi at number 46. I love it. I just think it's sexy and sultry. If you are interested in a red, you want to try this one. I love it because it's matte. Um, the tube will last you forever and you can get it at Nakshi at Nakuma UK. Another thing I really like about this lipstick is that because it's matte, uh, it's not transferable. I don't know if it's um, completely dry yet, but just see that? See that? This one. This one snuck up on me recently. I, I actually have, I had this color in my collection for a while. But I only, I feel like I only discovered it maybe four weeks ago and I love it. It's uh, again Nuba Milabachi. I love, love, love this brand. It's from Nakshi and it's number six. Stunning. I think it's such a beautiful color. It's a little um, like alternative. So it's not red, it's not purple, it's not brown. It's all of them combined into maroon but it gives me a like a grungy vibe another thing I really like about this lipstick is that the applicator is thin enough for you to really draw a perfect line so you don't necessarily have to wear a lip liner at least I don't feel like I need to wear a lip liner uh, I just go right into this get my lines right and voila I'm good to go again just like the other one non-transferable so the last look is obviously a lot more vampy than all the others. It's really, really dark, um, but still wearable and really sultry. So I started off with uh, the MAC Night Moth Lip Pencil, and I lined my lips, but also filled them in, just because it helps with making sure that the lipstick stays a lot, a lot longer. And also because the lipstick has a satin finish, it means that it, it can be a little harder to actually get into the corners and make sure it doesn't move. And then I topped it off with the MAC dark side lipstick. I really like this combo. If you want to have something more vampy, then I definitely recommend this. Another great dupe would be the Nuba Milabachi, yes, again, number 45, and then you can line your lips with the LA Girl dark purple color. So that's it. Those are my current favorite lipsticks, seven, one for each day of the week, and they range from muted, soft, romantic tones to vampy or sexy, sultry colors and I hope you found this video useful if you're out there looking for lipstick hope now you have an idea on where to go or where to start thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like lip kind of uh, tutorials or lip swatch kind of videos let me know so I can do more of them because I like watching them a lot more than normal makeup videos so if you like them as well then maybe I could do more of them for you guys Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week.